Welcome to 2014, staff and students, returning students that is, but new ones can watch I'm sure. I trust you had a great break and you're now refreshed and re-energised for a brand new year. Just to remind you that applications for new students are really due by the end of January. Um, Enrolments from existing students and new students are due on the 7th of February and Moodle will go live on the 17th of February. Our first intensive is on the 24th of February, that's EDU 401, Foundations in Christian Teaching and Learning. I've got some exciting news. We're very pleased to announce that we've got a brand new web page called Alpha Crucis Teaching. And if you search in Google, you'll find our page is very nearly, if not the top of the line. So type in Alpha Crucis Teaching and see what comes up. This is what I call the, the welcome page. This is the warm page without all the detail. And the main feature of it is a video from Charlotte in her classroom giving a testimony of her time as a trainee teacher here. Also, if you scroll down below that, you'll get bios of our casual lecturers and right at the bottom, some testimonies of our students. From that page, you'll find links to the official pages which are necessary for brand new students. Just a word with you about Turnitin. Now, we've used Turnitin for one semester and it has actually thrown up a few problems for some of you. I'm not sure whether you are really using it to test how much plagiarism you're doing before you submit an assignment. That's the point of it. It's not really uh, for us to catch you, it's really for us, for you, to discover whether or not you're doing the right thing by referencing and making sure that you never include text that isn't fully referenced and indicated as a full quote if that's what it is. So, if that's you and it's an area that you're not so sure on, please look up and necessary, if necessary get help on the Turnitin process. Also, I'd like to encourage you to minimize the number of files you upload for a particular assignment. If possible, make sure it's just one file because if it's many files, the lecturer has to upload each of them and then uh, put them together to mark them. It's a lot, lot easier if they are in one file. And also, Word files, please, and not PDFs, because PDFs are notoriously hard to write on. So, without more ado, this is my welcome for 2014. I trust you had a really good time and I'm so looking forward to seeing you again and continuing the journey of you becoming great teachers. All the best. See you soon. Bye.